everybody. I'm recording myself. I feel really strange. So today we're going to Black's Beach and we're getting there from the Torrey Pines Glider Port, which you can see behind. Okay, why am I talking like that? So, <laughs> there's, there's a person standing there, so I feel awkward. And welcome to another edition of Topless Topics, the channel that seeks to destigmatize female nudity through repeat, repeat exposure. I'm not currently topless because I am not yet at our destination, which is Black's Beach. It doesn't, it doesn't look like anything yet because we're not there. So, how do you get to Black Speech? First of all, it is a climb. Sorry, wheelchair bound people. I don't know of any way that you can get there unless you find tide when it's really, really low and, and, and walk along the shore. But uh, the easiest way is to go to the, the Torrey Pines Glider Port, which is this, uh, there's a cafe up there uh, where, where people that, that think that they can fly have little glider things and they, they take off and uh, trust themselves into the hands of God, as it were. Um, there's a couple of different paths you can take. Some are quicker than others, but the quicker it is, the steeper it is, the more more treacherous it is. Uh, these are sandstone cliffs, uh, signs everywhere saying do not climb, but you know, we're San Diegans, we, we laugh in the face of public safety, so uh, yeah, there's, there's some that are safer than others. I will be taking a safer route because I am terrified of heights, but uh, so, so just want to let you know, that's where you start, glider port, and then you, you take one of several routes down, and uh, I'll re reconvene with you down at the actual beach. Buddy. Hey. Hey. I'm gonna talk to you in a baby voice. And get closer till you fly away. Fly so far away. So this crow is like the size of a hen. <laughs> I, I wanna like run up and scare him, but I also don't want to be an asshole. This is one of the paths. This is the, the least treacherous one. I, I forgot what this path is called. I'll look it up and put it in the description. Uh, it's funny because there's signs everywhere saying, do not go, dangerous, unstable, blah, blah, blah. But then they have little pavement and steps. So I guess they're like, well, if you're gonna go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's about, it's about a half hour, 40, 40 minute walk if you go a slow pace. So it, it gets you there, just not immediately. So, you know, be careful. So we're still making our way down, but I wanted to show you, see this, this crest down the hill right there? That's one of the paths. <laughs> so here we are at, at uh, Black's Beach, and I, I don't want to accidentally show anyone that doesn't want to be shown, so I'm being a little careful, but I'm very hot and sticky because we, we had to climb down this giant-ass freaking hill, um, and we went the easy way, which is just a bunch of steps. Um, and you know what? Even though I'm a nudist, and even though I personally am like, whatever, naked, I feel a little anxious right now, and that's because there's uh, people that maybe aren't as open about it. <laughs> and as I was just remarking to my friend, it's all about, for me, it's not about my feelings, it's about how other people feel about me. So if other people are looking at me going, oh my god, she's naked, then it makes me feel like, oh my god, I'm naked. But if people are just like, whatever, you know, as people usually are to dudes uh, who don't have shirts, then it's it's whatever, and I'm rambling. Um, <laughs> I should probably get in the water now. I'm gonna run into the water. Oh, I'm like nervous. <laughs> Interesting thing about Black Speech, uh, by the way, so named because the area up here on these cliffs used to be owned by the Black family, which was some rich horse farming family, whatever. They uh, sold the land and that's why it's called Black Speech. So nothing, you know, nothing about racial issues or, you know, the black market, just, just in case you're wondering. Anyway, so Black Speech, pretty much San Diego's premier, aka only nudist beach. Um, it's been through some interesting uh, processes. Right now, it's not really technically part of the city protected beaches anymore because I think in about the 70s, the uh, people on the, the, the board decided that they didn't want to protect 
new, you know, naked people. So they took away all the funding for lifeguards and trash collecting and stuff like that. And uh, it sort of became a no man's land. Like I said, there's signs everywhere saying, you know, oh, dangerous cliffs, do not come over here. Um, but lately, apparently, I just found this out on Wikipedia, <laughs> good old Wikipedia, the uh, UCSD, which is the fancy four-year, or sorry, university out here for all the, the little rich La Jolla kids, uh, has been sending people out here to clean up the beaches, to, to do lifeguard duty. So it's slowly coming back into the public consciousness. Um, still a little bit uh, uh, different. It takes, takes some climbing to get out here unless you walk along the shore. And if you walk along the shore, it's, it's miles to get out here. Um, but it, it's kind of nice. You know, you come out here. I'm not particularly skeeved out. It is more dudes than females just because I feel like, you know, there's more stigma against nude females. Um, but it, yeah, it's just nice. It's nice if you're a nudist and you're in San Diego and you want to go be in the, the water, be in the, the freezing cold water. <laughs> it is February, to be fair. The, the weather right now is about 85 degrees, but the water is about 5 degrees. Okay, maybe not that bad. But, yeah, so if you're ever in San Diego, and this is not a scripted video, as you can tell, uh, you should check it out. Just be prepared for a climb. And here's my uh, pregnant woman relief structure that I, I, I've been making. <laughs> How can you say without choking on your own bile that you support free speech for Nazis, yeah. but not for non-sexual women's nipples? It's what? bullshit. It's bullshit. It's bullshit.